that stunner you trying to pull. You know I'm not carrying that kind of money. You beat up old beef. You're a bigger robber than I am. What do you think I'm paying for, a suite at the White Palace? Take it or find another cave. That's my price for every week you stay. That knee's not going to be in any hurry about healing, Doc. Not if you want it to be much use. And don't tell me you ain't got it. You always carry enough for a whole lot of money. Well, my term suits you. Come on, Kate. We've known each other since you were singing in Frisco. Yeah. Did you know I used to be an actress, Mr. Bodie? Singer, really? Stylist stuff, you know. I'd like to have heard you, ma'am. We're friends, Kate. Ha! Every time our tracks crossed, we'd crossed each other. I wouldn't keep you at all, except your friend seems like a nice fella. Well, what was it this time and who's after you? You might as well tell me I'll hear soon enough. Bank at Comanche, heck short. If heck short's in it, the price is double. What? And if you don't like it, you can... All right, all right. I want some information. Anything you can find out about the Kiowa kid. I'll get it. Of course, it'll... I know, it'll cost me. And what's more, you'll work for your keep. That is, your friend will. I got a man to help me with the heavy work. I'll have to get rid of him while you are here. I'll be glad to help out, Miss Hannigan. Miss Hannigan. Well, since I'm having guests, maybe I'd better fix up a little. If you gentlemen will excuse me. <laughs> and the whiskey comes extra. <laughs> That knee's as good as it's ever gonna be. Time we were heading on. When we know where to head for. Been here almost a month now. It might not be safe much longer. Kate can't turn us in. Not now. I didn't mean that. Not that she would anyway. I gotta hand it to you. You've handled it just fine. You bring out the lady in her. <laughs> Must be a strain on her keeping it up. But it's the first time she's combed her hair in 20 years. Yeah, you seem to handle a lot of things real good. I've been thinking. When the kid's dead, I'll be the only one that can clear you. Suppose I didn't. What? I've been thinking. You might be too good to throw away. We don't get along bad at all, do we? You could do worse than throwing in with me. I teach you all the tricks. Like Kyle? You don't pick them very well, do you? He turns you in, and I still don't like it. I ain't asking to be liked. Oh, excuse me. Well, well, a new dress. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd think you were back croaking at sockeye Barney's. Do you think it suits me, Mr. Bodie? Very nice. If you was just making a social call. I got that information you wanted. By the way, I was looking through an old trunk and I found a piece they wrote about me when I came to Frisco. They said I was Juno S. See? Juno was a goddess, you know. You, uh, really must have impressed them. Well, what did you find out? Man passing through says Kaya was hanging out around Tularosa, where they got the big gold stripes, using another name. I don't know what. That far. He has got the wind up. We'll be going. Right away. Maybe you should wait Get the horses. Lay off him, Doc. He's all right. I was wondering how long you'd keep it up after we left. Couldn't even wait till we got out of town. Give you a big kick to mess up his life, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're about the same, you and me. We're both washed up. 
You, maybe. You meet somebody decent like that, and it hits you. Yeah. Like a whale I saw on the beach, down at the Gulf once. Washed up and dead. You're getting remorse in your old age, Kay? You might call it that. Have you ever looked up the boy, Doc? Well, have you? Why should I do that? Horses are ready and everything's all clear. Let's move. Maybe you better forget we've been here, Kate. Goodbye, Miss Hannigan. Thanks for all your kindness. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. A very great pleasure. You gonna stand there all day? Mm -hmm.